All right, let's look at the economy. South Africans in debt are bracing for yet higher interest rates. A Reuters poll is predicting that the South African Reserve Bank will raise interest rates by 50 basis points tomorrow. Now, if that happens, it will take the bank's benchmark repo rate to 7.5% and the prime lending rate, that's, the bank's, uh, that's what the banks use to lend to most of us, to 11%. Let's just take a quick look at what has happened since November 2021. So that is when the hikes began. And since then, you'll see uh, that there has been no less than seven interest rate uh, hikes consecutively. That's uh, between November 2021 and November 2022. The Bank's Monetary Policy Committee meeting every two months. So those hikes coming every two months. Now the repo rate uh, doubled in that time. The prime lending rate uh, jumped up by 3.5 percentage points pushing up the cost of paying off a home or a car or any other asset significantly. So the bad news is that we are expecting another hike tomorrow. That would be the eighth consecutive interest rate hike. The good news is inflation is coming down around the world. So this is likely to be the last rate hike in the so-called hiking cycle. And of course, we'll take that monetary policy uh, meeting decision live for you tomorrow, usually at around three o'clock. Now, today, the ANC has been holding an emergency energy dialogue. The DA has been marching against rolling blackouts and the energy crisis remains top of the agenda. Let's look at a recent barometer which shows that blackouts are among the top risks that South Africa faces. The Alliance Risk Barometer 2023 says that critical infrastructure blackouts such as power disruptions or failures of aging dams, bridges and rail tracks are top risks in South Africa. We're joined by Kevin Barnes, Alliance CFO. Thank you for being with us, uh, Mr. Barnes. We did try this interview yesterday. I hope Hopefully better like this time. Uh, how do you put the barometer together and what is it useful? Good afternoon and thank you for having Allianz on your show. So this is our 12th um, version of the Allianz barometer. Annually we, we survey uh, risk managers from around the world. This year we surveyed over 2,700 risk um, experts across the world from 94 countries. So it's a really good cross center of the risk management across the country and the world for that matter. So, so we'll talk about the world, uh, but first South Africa, and I guess it sounds pretty obvious given the in infrastructure challenges that we already have and the, the fact that we've been experiencing stage six uh, blackout, but tell us what we're possibly in for this year. Certainly, so, so, so the, the risk barometer, uh, the top three in South Africa is obviously, as you mentioned, critical um, infrastructure blackouts is what you're talking about today. That was number three last year, so it has been on the risk managers' minds. But I do think that spike, as you mentioned, of the loads of stage six load shedding, that has brought it right up to the top. Um, second on the Allianz risk barometer is cyber incidents, which was number one last year, so just pipped by, by the infrastructure, uh, infrastructure blackouts. And then the third one this year is, is business interruption, which has gone from, from three to two. So those are the three main ones for the South African economy. They're slightly different around the world, but from a South African economy point of view, those are our three big risks leading to 2023. All right, so blackouts have moved up, uh, cyber incidents are there, and, and I guess it's linked. Remember what we saw, the Transnet port um, held up dramatically, ships coming in, and, and that was due to a cyber attack affecting our infrastructure. Certainly, so yes, so, so these three are quite, quite interlinked. If you look at business interruption, the main reason for business interruption is cyber, cyber incidents. Um, after that is the energy crisis. And then thirdly, it's the natural catastrophe. So those are the three, the three main perils that, that impact our business interruption. But like you say, cyber, business interruption, critical infrastructure, they all, they're all um, lead off each other most definitely, yeah. Energy is also an issue in, in Europe. I imagine that has been under discussion. How, how do our problems or our risks reflect world risks and, and how are we different in South Africa? Certainly, so if we look at our number one, um, the infrastructure blackouts, that is number 12 in the world. So we do differentiate in the Allianz risk barometer between normal energy risks and infrastructure blackouts. Um, so the energy risks are quite high in Europe. Um, but if you look at purely blackouts, they're, they're only 12. So the infrastructure is 
from a risk management point of view, obviously, um, is obviously a lot less of a risk, whereas in South Africa that is now becoming a, a major risk for us. It does, does bring across inconsistencies in being able to do business. Uh, business interruption is a, is a big, big issue when we're looking at trying to have, have a resilience in, in businesses in South Africa. And so we just need some sort of consistency. If we have a consistency in this, we could probably manage it as a, as a country. But without that consistency, it makes it very difficult to have that resilience as a business. Yeah, and we had an earlier guest saying if nothing changes and the maintenance uh, doesn't yield results, we could see four more stages. I mean, that would be incredible this year. That is something to some extent out of the, the control of businesses, but cyber is something in their control. Does this mean that, that companies don't feel like they're on top of the, the international cyber risks? Yeah, so if you, if you look at if you look at the the um, Allianz Cyber Center of Excellence that, that did the survey, they found that large corporations obviously had cyber on their on their risk radar for, for a long time now, and they have all of the protection in place. What the Allianz Risk Barometer has highlighted is that the smaller, medium-sized entities are not aware of their exposure, um, and the biggest risk in South Africa specifically are the smaller entities. Um, they, they might feel that what well, could be it could be a funding issue, they can't, they can't afford it. It could be that they feel who's going to worry about someone small. But the Allianz Risk Barometer has pointed out that they're a large risk because they're an easy target. And that needs to be a focus for risk managers, especially in smaller and medium-sized entities going forward in 2023. All right, thank you very much. Kevin Barnes, Allianz CFO, talking about that risk barometer.